So let us go with mass and energy analysis. Uh, in your thermodynamics, paalala ko lang sa inyo, we're, we've talked about yung conservation of mass and energy. And that is also a fundamental of HVAC design. So let us go to sa mga processes that will be involved during this entire discussion. So let us first go with sensible heating and sensible cooling. Now you have these figures for your uh, mass and energy diagram for sensible heating and cooling. What happens? What happens? Yung mass ng dry air mo and then water vapor that is contained in your air. Diba? Paliwanag natin dito. That air contains dry air and water vapor. Now, yung dry air and water vapor na yun, simply, sila lang naman yung nagigain ng heat or it loses heat. Tama? Now, pagdating ng sensible heating, that air at initial state, when passed through a heating coil, oh, heating eh, siyempre heating, ang nangyayari, it gains Q. And Q is heat. Okay? And after that, yung mass of dry air and water vapor will now contain a sizable amount of heat. Now, opposite, we'll talk about the opposite. The mass and energy diagram for sensible cooling, simply, yung air na yun, when nag-pass through sa isang cooling coil, makikita natin dyan, parang cooling coil, okay, inside a duct. This is the cooling coil. Ngayon, it tends to make air lose its heat. Okay? Now, in figure B, the heat enters or is absorbed by the sample of air, therefore increases its heat. Kaya nga sensible cooling. While in figure C, the heat leaves or is rejected from the air, hence lowering its heat content. Now, using material balance, okay? For dry air, we'll talk about dry air, it will always be the same. Okay? Constant yung dry air mo dyan. Now, for water vapor, that will also be constant. As we know, air is composed of dry air and has a specific humidity. Uh, it's composed of air and water vapor. But to simpli simplify yung things, we treat the dry air and air as one. Iisa lang sila. Here's an example to understand it more. For example, 1 kilogram of air has a specific humidity of 0 0.008 kilograms of vapor per kilograms of air. Now, given this property, we can determine the amount of water vapor in dry air sample. By using this formula, meron kang SH. Meron kang water vapor. Where, the mass of water vapor is simply yung mass ng air multiplied to SH. O, oh, multiply natin. MA times mass ng water vapor over mass ng air. Now, we cancel all the same uh, the same values. Okay, we'll arrive with the mass of water vapor. Okay? Now, using the parameters that is given here, we can now determine that we have 0 0.008 or 8,000 kilogram of vapor. Now, from mass of air, simply, di ba, ang air natin is equal to dry air plus water vapor. Yung mass ng air is equal to mass ng dry air plus mass of water vapor. Now, na-determine natin yung dalawa, di ba? Okay. In order for us to know the mass of dry air, we simply know that we have a quantity of 1 kilogram air. And we have to diminish it with 8,000 kilogram of vapor in order for us to determine the mass of air at the value of 0 0.0092 kilograms of air. So, the value of the mass of dry air and air doesn't differ that much. Napakalit na value. But, in terms of mass, we will assume that air will also be dry air. Check. Kasi nga, Yung amount niya na nabawas sa kanya is not sizable enough to make it gain any difference at all. That is why the mass of dry air at point 1 and point 2 is equal to the mass of dry air at any point. Since dry air is also non-condensable, 
Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nagkakaroon ng any condensate. Its mass will remain constant at any process. Now, by energy balance for sensible heating, and we should follow the rules, uh, the laws of thermodynamics where energy can never, be, can never be created nor destroyed, in equilibrium, the energy that comes in will be the energy that will come out. Okay. The mass of dry air, ang energy pinag-uusapan natin, and ito ay yung iyong specific enthalpy. Okay? Meron tayo ditong system. Pumasok yung hangin mo. Lumabas yung hangin mo. Okay? Na gano'n siya. It either given of heat or it either absorb heat. Now, yung mass ng dry air mo at point 1, meron siyang specific enthalpy at 1. Yung mass of dry air mo at 2, meron siya specific enthalpy at 2. Now, E in, E out. Okay? The mass of dry air at 1 plus the heat hindi natin alat if, if it is given off or absorbed by the system, but we always absorb or, or we always know that energy is absorbed in terms of heat. Now, ito yung dalawa. We add the states at first and then the heat that is added that will be equal to the resulting part. So, heat will be equal to the mass of dry air 2 multiplied to H2 minus mass of dry air 1 multiplied to H1. But, We know that dry air at the initial state is always equal and constant throughout the process. Diyan. So we can say that the total heat added or rejected to the system is simply equal to the mass of air multiplied to the change in its enthalpy. Given by this equation. Now, for sensible cooling, So pala, sinabi na sensible heating, ibig sabihin heat absorbed. Hindi ako nagbabasa. Pag sensible cooling, heat is rejected. Now, by energy balance, E in and E out, the mass of dry air is simply equal to the sum of the heat that is rejected plus the mass of the outlet multiplied the specific enthalpy. Now, we say that the mass is constant throughout the process, then for sensible cooling, ito yung ating equation. Now, based on the derived formula for sensible heating and cooling, the change in enthalpy will depend on the process. It will not depend sa mali yung ano yan, mali yung English. It will depend on the process. For sensible heating, there is an addition of heat. So, the air at point 2 will have a higher value of enthalpy. That is true. So, we got a change in enthalpy of H2 minus H1. Or the higher minus the lower enthalpy value. The same goes for sensible cooling. Since there is a rejection of heat, the enthalpy at point 2 will have a lower value and hence will have a higher value of enthalpy at the inlet. Or the higher minus the lower enthalpy and so on. We will always take the positive value of our answers as long as we know the direction of heat transfer. Okay. In these two processes, the type of heat is absorbed, that is absorbed or rejected by the air is the sensible heat. Recall, sensible heat is the heat that causes change in temperature without any change in the phase of the material. Take note, sensible heat is the heat that causes the change in temperature without changing the phase of the material or the state of matter. So, heat is transferred during process, during this process. Okay? And generally, this is the formula. And it is approximately to the heat that is done during the constant process. Okay? Constant process of what? Pressure pressure constant process in thermodynamics or that is isobaric process for sensible cooling and heating. Now, for heating and humidifying, okay, meron tayo ditong diagram ulit. The mass and energy diagram for heating and humidifying. O, meron tayong 
mass of vapor na dagdag, meron tayong heat na nadagdag, and simply yung inlet and outlet conditions meron tayo. In figure D, the heat is absorbed by the air for the process of heating. Now, the humidica- humidification process is shown by the water vapor that is added to the air. Di ba nga, mayroon tayong system. Nagkaroon ka ng spray ng water. Nagdagdag ka ng water sa ano? Nagdagdag ka ng spray or droplets of water dun sa air mo. So, yung vapor mo, nagkaroon ka ng humidity. Now, by material balance, sinasabi natin, hindi naman sizable yung amount of Uh, amount of dry air na nabawas. So, we can say that the mass of dry air at inlet and outlet is same with the mass of air so at the system. Now, for water vapor, ibang kaso na yan. Yung water vapor natin at initial state na dagdagan ng mass of water vapor during the humidifying process. So, we can say the mass of vapor is simply the difference between the mass of water vapor at the outlet minus the mass of water vapor at the inlet. Now, from the specific humidity formula where it is the ratio between your mass of water vapor and mass of the air, we can get the mass of water vapor simply by having this equation. Hmm. Now, for the mass of water vapor, given with this formula, okay, mass of dry air multiplied to SH at the outlet, mass of dry air at the inlet, and then the inlet. No? SH niya. Since, sinabi natin, equal naman yung dry air to at the process, we can say that the mass of water vapor is simply equal to the mass of air multiplied to the difference between the specific humidities at inlet and outlets. Okay. Where SH2 is the specific humidity at the final condition or point 2, SH1 is the specific humidity at initial condition or point 1. MA is the mass of air and MB is the mass of water vapor that is added in the air throughout the system. Now, by using energy balance, because of the humidification process, water vapor is added in the air, also carries a certain amount of heat or HB. And we will also consider it in the energy balance. So, we'll talk about the energy in and energy out equations. Yung pumasok at lumabas. Yung mass of dry air equal to heat added, heating eh. And then the mass of water vapor and then speci- specific enthalpy of the vapor. Mamaya natin alamin kung saan makukuha to. And simplifying the entire equation, Q plus MVHB is equal to mass of dry air minus mass of dry air 1 equal to H1. Hmm. Ito na yung final. Now, H2 is the enthalpy of air at the final condition and H1 is the enthalpy of air at the initial condition. In this equation, there are three different types of heat to be classified. Number one, Q will be equal to QS or the sensible heat. Yung itong value nitong MVHB, that is the latent heat. Okay? Now, yung QT or the total heat, that will be equal to this part, QT. This is QS, this is QL. So, QS plus QT is equal to QL. Or, the sensible heat and then the latent heat will be equal to the total heat of the process. Ayan. In this process of sensible heating or cooling, there is no latent heat because there is no change in the amount of water vapor. When that happened, yung amount of water vapor is changed, then there could be having a total of the sensible heat and then the latent heat. Yun na yung process nun. So, let us talk cooling and dehumidifying. Okay. Sa cooling and dehumidifying, ang nangyari is you taken out the heat of the system and yung mass nung condensate. Dito, nag-add ka naman sa heating and humidifying ng vapor. Dito, nagtanggal ka naman ng condensate. In figure E, the heat is rejected by the air for the process of cooling. Now, the humidification, the humidification process is shown by the water vapor that is rejected to the air. The water vapor is rejected, termed as simply the condensate of the water vapor or the condensed water vapor or simply condensate na lang. Now, again, going throughout the system, equal pa rin ang mass of dry air, 
Now, for water vapor, ganito pa rin. Nawala yung ano. Meron kang total water vapor, tinanggal mo yung condensate, and then yung water vapor at outlet. So, the mass of the condensate is equal to this one. Yung difference between the mass of water vapor nung iyong inlet minus the outlet. Now, again, makukuha na naman natin yung mass of water vapor using our SH. Malaga yan, specific humidity or omega. So, ano equation niya? Now, for the mass of the condition, ah, uh, condition condensate, that is equal to the mass of dry air or air simply, multiplied to the difference between the specific humidity at inlet minus the specific humidity outlet. Yun. Now, by energy balance, nadagdagan na naman tayo. Okay. Yung mass of dry air to the specific humidity, the heat that is taken out, Q, and then the mass of the condensate, and then the H ng condensate, the mass of dry air at the outlet, and then the specific humidity at the outlet. Simplifying, we'll arrive with this equation. Now, may mga ibig sabihin yan. Yung Q mo kasi is the sensible heat, and then this will become your QL, and this will become your QT, na total heat. Magkaiba ang QS sa QL and QT. Okay. Meron tayong approximation dyan. And what better way for us to understand it is to solve different problems about it. So, we'll take another break for 10 minutes. I will prepare all the problems, siguro four problems, I will answer it live for you. Okay?